an ultrasound, this is the evaluation of small bowel obstruction. I'm using the curvilinear probe and placing the probe on the patient's anterior abdomen, looking for fluid-filled loops of bowel. In small bowel obstruction, we would expect to see small bowel loops that are dilated greater than 2.5 centimeters, and they often have back and forth peristalsis, as seen in the left corner of your screen. After looking anteriorly, I'm going to look somewhat posteriorly on the patient's abdomen to make sure that there's not air in those anterior loops that can be obstructing my view. I'll look on both the right and the left sides posteriorly, looking for fluid-filled loops of bowel. Finally, after looking more posteriorly, I will come back again and look superpubically on the patient's abdomen to ensure that I don't see any fluid-filled loops of bowel there. Again, loops that are greater than 2.5 centimeters if you see multiple of them, and if there's peristalsis, these are concerning findings for small bowel obstruction.